all right guys welcome back to the channel i'm coming through with another video yet again and in today's topic we're going to talk about people who do not understand narcissism and what made me think to do this video is a comment that a fellow left in the comment section so i'm going to talk about this a little bit and the truth behind this situation is There is healthy people in this world that might not have gone through barely anything and they just always had it good. These people might not understand narcissism because they never really had to. But then there's people who might have went through some shit and they still don't understand narcissism. These are the same individuals that carry narc traits themselves. You could have had a past that was a little off. Things could have happened. But you went through your awakening. You went through your times. You were woke. You were not blind to what this stuff is you were woke you were just like the healthy people in this world that had it a little bit harder and then there's the people like i said that they might have went through some stuff and they still don't understand what this stuff is because they are blind to it because they still have narc traits themselves there's no other way around it guys you have to understand this stuff if you went through anything at all because if you don't that just means you are a narcissist, basically. And you're blind to that. There are some people that have crossed my channel that are absolutely narcs. I know all the woke people in the comment section. It's not hard to tell. The people that are aware of this stuff, it's not hard to tell at all. And then there's people that come across this channel now and then that you just know for a fact. It's like they almost disagree with what you have to say because that is their own behavior. They don't, narcissists sometimes don't even know that they are a narcissist. They think, they think healthy people are narcissists. They don't, they, they can't express themselves any other way. That's just how they see it. And that's how you know they're off. Like, they just don't understand what this stuff is. And they continue to be in these situations with other narcs, and they think, uh, like, I, I've literally had people <clears throat> message me asking for help and this and that i've had many narcs reach out to me guys believe it or not swear to god swear to god and they ask for help but they are the ones with the issues they are the ones that when you talk to them you you know something's wrong with these people and they think things are wrong with others or people that are involved in their lives but really it's them it could be people in their lives as well they could all be narcs, they could all be together, you just never know. But there are absolutely people who do not understand narcissism that are narcissists themselves. There are people that are narcs that are unaware that they are narcs. I've even had people in real life in the past that I have talked to, that I have dated, that they knew something was wrong with them because they see everybody else, they see healthy people, they see me, and it's like, they know something's wrong with them because they don't feel the same. They know something's off, but they don't know what's wrong. They have that hole in their heart, and they have that hole in their souls that they just, they don't understand what this stuff is. They just think, they don't know why they're depressed. They don't know why they have all these issues. That's just because they are a narcissist. They have a mental illness and they can't help it because they're not even willing to go to therapy. They're not willing 
to fix what's wrong and it's almost like they can't because they don't know what's wrong. They don't know how to take the correct actions to fix what is wrong because they don't even know what's wrong with them. They are a narcissist but they don't know it. And <clears throat> some people think that if a person is a narcissist they know that they are a narcissist for sure. It's not always the case. Some people do. And some people are so stubborn that they don't fix their own behaviors or wrongdoings or acknowledge their bad behavior. This is a definition of a covert narc. Um, they do things, they know it's wrong. And it's just like, and I've talked to these people as well. It's, it's so annoying because it's like, why are you doing this? You have to do this. Like, do you not understand that this is wrong? And they're just like, yeah, yeah. Okay, change your fucking behavior then. Like, <laughs> they continue to do the same things over and over and over and over again, knowing it's wrong, knowing that they're gonna do their karma, but they continue to do it because that's the only thing they know how to do. It just honestly boils my blood to see people like this. It's like you just want to slap them upside the wall and it's like, wake up! You know what I mean? Not literally, but it's, it's like that. It's, it's stupidity. Like, what in the hell? What in the actual fuck are you doing? These people can't help themselves even if they tried. That's how messed up they are. Can you believe it? If I was doing something that was so wrong and somebody acknowledged that and told me it, the first thing I would do is fix that behavior. They are unwilling to do that. They know it and they still can't do it. That's how you know somebody has a mental illness disorder. They are messed up to the core. You do not want to deal with these people. If you do, that mental illness will rub off on you and you're going to start to feel the effects of being mentally ill. I have felt this shit before from these people in the past that I got tricked by. And there's nothing fun about it because it can affect you for years. Until you are woke enough and take the time to heal and then you will feel alright again. You continue on with your journey, things get a lot better, things get a lot brighter, and you just have to stay focused, you have to stay on par, you can't get caught up with these individuals ever again because they are everywheres. And it's so dangerous because like I said, there's just a lot of these people that don't even know. They're, 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 they think what they're doing is normal because that's that's how their brain operates. And some of them even know they're doing the wrong things, but they have to do it anyways. And they think it's right, but they know it's wrong. That's how messed up they are. They know it's wrong, but they think it's right. They continue to do it. No remorse. They don't care. And I've also had people reach out to me saying things like, trying to explain certain things to me and it just wasn't making perfect sense at all. And before I even said it myself, they came out and said it themselves. They were like, maybe I'm the narcissist. While this person is drinking alcohol, on a Saturday night they are letting me know, they're sending me paragraphs over social media trying to explain something. I didn't even read all of it because it was just the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I just knew right away something's very wrong with this person. They're even telling me, yeah, I'm having a few drinks tonight, this and that, that and this. They wanted to do a consultation call. They canceled it. They just kept saying a whole bunch of stuff. At the end of it, it was like, maybe I'm the narcissist. As soon as they said that, like I was thinking they were the whole time. As soon as they said that, I was like, yep. <laughs> Not a fucking doubt in my mind that you are a narcissist. Not a doubt. 
And I literally just stopped talking to this person. I don't even want to fucking do this. Because even whenever you talk to them, you just feel off. You just feel off. <clears throat> There's something weird about it, man. They just take... It's... Their own reality in their head is so distorted that when you talk to them, you have to talk to them, like, at their level. Because if you... They can't talk to you on your level. They can't relate. And you can't relate to them. That's why it's a no-go. That's why... If they can con you and manipulate you into their world, you are lost. And you don't even know you're lost because they're so good at getting you in their world. And once you are in their world, your own reality is gone. Whether you think it or not, whether you know it or not, you can get lost. And then if you get discarded, while you already got lost from your own reality, you're going to feel the effects of anxiety, depression, fear, panic, worry. You're going to feel all these things. As soon as you lose that person, as soon as something happens with this person, as soon as it happens, you feel even a little bit disconnected from this person. You might feel a little bit normal. For, like, in the beginning stages with a narcissist, you might feel that way. They might make you feel so good. You might feel better than you did even before you met them. But that's the addiction. That's the love bombing stage. That's the trauma bond that they get you in. And then it just starts going on the decline. It just starts getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And all of a sudden, you're cut off from this person. And that is where the discard phase is right there. And your reality is completely gone. You are completely gone from reality. You can't believe what just happened. It's just a living hell. That's what it is. That's what it's like. But anyways, guys. <sighs> there's just some things you can't explain to some people. The woke will understand it. The bright people will understand it. But these narcs never will. And the people, even pay attention to this, the people that have a hard time learning about this stuff, are the closest to a narcissist. There's people that are borderline narcs. There are people that are severely deep into being a full-blown narc. And then there's people that are not narcs. Like, even the people that are on borderline, these people have such a hard time understanding this stuff, and it's like, nothing they can say, nothing they can do, is ever getting them past these points. And I feel they could be blocking their own blessings. They could be blocking their own way of thinking in their own life because they might have a fear of leaving this side. It's like they're stuck in between. They just can't get rid of some certain things that it like that are with narcs. So think of it like this. Here's the people right here that's in the middle. Right here. Then there are the narcs in this group. Then there's a healthy in this group. There are some people stuck in between this fine line. And they just can't go one way. They're so confused. They're so... I don't even know what you want to call it. But they just can't fully get to over here. Because they feel if they do, something is still missing with these people. A piece of them is still with these people. They can't fully come over here. And the goal for everybody is to get over here. And once you do, there's no going back here. Unless you get fooled or trapped... Or something else again, or something goes terribly wrong that gets you over on this side. But even healthy people can become a narc. It can happen. I've seen it before. I've seen it happen to young people before. And unfortunately, those are the people that are most likely to become a narc in their younger stage. In their teen years. Even in their 
older teen years. It's like they have a choice. I feel like a lot of people in the past that I was with were like right here in the middle. They chose the devil while some people chose God. You have a choice. Everybody has a choice. Everybody makes their own choices. <clears throat> Following the path of God is not always the easiest route. That's why some people choose this. They want it easy. They want everything easy. But they don't want to go over here where it's actually good. But it might be a little bit harder. But things could also get easier in the future. That's what they don't understand as well. They would rather take the easy, quick way out. Which is the devil. And I've made bad choices in the past just because I was young and I didn't fully understand this stuff that I made bad choices that was directed to this side but I was never ever off to correct any bad choice I ever made which puts me over to here 100% um, everybody makes bad mistakes I've made a couple errors in 2020 I corrected it I'll correct any mistake that I make and if I make a mistake you might not know it right away it's not like I knew it was a bad choice I didn't I thought it was a good choice at the time but it turned out not to be whenever you see that you have to correct it I always correct it my mistakes as long as you correct your mistake you're all good it's okay to make a mistake but it's not okay to not correct it especially if you know you made a mistake you have to correct it so <clears throat> anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video this breakdown this is my honest thoughts on this so I'm gonna cut this video short and I will be back with another video I'll be back